right, so today we are doing the countertops. Uh, what we have here is I bought some white wood from Lowe's. So these are eight foot pieces. I believe they're 10 inches uh, wide. So what we're gonna do, I have uh, one side cabinets that are uh, you know, one feet deep. So I basically have wall cabinets sitting on the floor just because I wanted these, uh, I'll go ahead and show you, I wanted these wall cabinets to be shorter than the, uh, the base cabinets. So here are my base cabinets and then here are my wall cabinets. So they're a little bit shorter than the base cabinets and the reason we wanted this look it was because you know you could look in and see just the hardware and everything on these cabinets right here uh, and just the color of the cabinets. So really it's just uh, all about attention to detail and everything and uh, just the presentation of this trailer. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll cut these down. So for this side on the wall cabinets, I'll just take two of those um, whiteboard pieces or whitewood pieces and, and cut them down. And uh, they'll, they'll be about 13 inches deep. And I'm going out, I think I'm gonna go about 13 feet long. So from the end of this cabinet right here, all the way to the wall over here. So we'll do that. And uh, then what we'll do over here is cut them down to uh, where they're about 25 inches deep. So let's go start cutting. All right, so we have one side complete of the butcher block. Now what I need to do is just fill in some gaps, do some sanding, stain it, put some polyurethane on it, and then we're good to go. Start cutting out holes for the sink and for some other things that we have uh, going in or uh, underneath these uh, countertops. And then we have the refrigerator down here. I put in a little support that I'm not really done with yet down here. Uh, and this area is gonna be a trash can, and then I'm gonna put a knock box um, into the countertop right here in that area. So you see all these seams right here. I need to fill that in with some wood filler uh, before I stain it. And then over here, we have our wall cabinet side, which we're using as base cabinets. So we wanted them to be a little bit shorter than the actual base cabinets. So now it's on to doing these. The countertops are in. So we went with butcher block and it wasn't really the traditional way of going or building butcher block, but it's gonna work. I think it's gonna look really good. Uh, so now, obviously we have to sand, just all these gaps and everything, or have the wood filler. And then you see uh, some plumbing equipment actually about to be put in, or uh, about to be cut out really, just the holes and everything for the sinks, uh, for the rinser. Uh, hand washing sink is going to go in this area right here and then the uh, hot water tank below it um, and then we have over here the uh, knock box that's going to go into the countertop that'll be built in I'm pretty excited about that and then our uh, ice box right here hold all of our ice for our ice drinks so this big area right here will be our espresso machine and grinder and then over here uh, will be our coffee maker. And then on this side, eventually we'll put in a nitro brew system over here. Uh, but underneath here is gonna be our fresh water tank. It's a 40 gallon fresh water tank. And then above it will be our coffee grinder. And then this space right here should be pretty empty, which we want it to be. Uh, this little gap right here will hold our uh, cash register underneath and then above that will be our POS system with the iPad and with um, the receipt printer everything like that um, in this area uh, we figure we put cleaning supplies kind of hide everything over there so yeah um, what I'll do now is go ahead and cut out all these holes we'll come back we'll stain we'll polyurethane so let's go the countertops are in they're looking good they got that nice shine to them we did a little polyurethane finish on them. They turned out a little bit darker than expected, but in the end, uh, we really like it. We think it um, adds a lot to the character of this trailer. Nice contrast between that color and then the backsplash and the uh, cabinet colors. Um, you hear how the generator's on outside right now. I just wanted you to really um, see the lighting, uh, just so 
you can kind of see how things pop in here. What we'll do is we'll put um, a JoJo's espresso sign between these two lights. And um, yeah, and we also just installed these lights too. And I'll put the description or uh, a link in the description of these lights. We got them off Amazon. And uh, they're LED as well. They have that little vintage bulb in them that looks really good. Uh, but just going through the space again, um, what I did also is I installed the hand watching sink. Plumbing is still uh, to come. That's about to happen here in the next day or so. Uh, we have the three compartment sink, the rinser, uh, the espresso machine is going to go here. Uh, the plumbing will go through this little hole right here. Uh, and then we have our knock box over here. Also put in the uh, refrigerator, just making sure that fit and look good. Uh, then we have our ice bin and then our coffee maker. And you'll see that there's a hole right there as well for the plumbing. And uh, over here, like we don't have any plumbing. Uh, we really wanted this space to be kind of wide open for our POS system and then uh, for some display cases with our pastries. And over here, I didn't really want the coffee grinder to be front and center, so we're gonna hide it over in this corner. Um, so, got the awning closed right now. So it really doesn't even feel like we're in a trailer. It feels like we're in a house, like in a kitchen. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's just a, a, a cool kitchen setup, cool cafe. So let us know what you think. Shoot us a comment. Any questions that you have, we'd love to hear it. Thanks, guys.